dot and bubble. This thought-provoking episode tackles some heavy themes, and one question that lingers is would Ricky September have been racist? Ricky September is portrayed as a complex figure. While he is shown to be different from the other fine timers, who are spoilers all white and racist, his own racial views are left ambiguous. He is depicted as a thoughtful and educated individual who reads and values knowledge, which contrasts with the superficiality of the fine timers. However, he never directly interacts with the doctor, leaving the audience to wonder if he would have joined the others in rejecting the doctor's help or if he would have accepted it. Let's break it down. The fine timers are depicted as upper class and privileged. They are all white and overtly racist. By the end of the episode, it is clearly that the world that they built has been completely destroyed and they don't even realize it. When the doctor tries to help them, they outright reject the assistance because the best they can do is interact with him through technology. Ricky September, however, is a man who seems to defy the norms of the fine timer society. Unlike them, he's thoughtful, values knowledge over superficiality, and most strikingly, is able to physically function outside the metaverse. Ricky also displays heroic tendencies, guiding Lindy through the chaos to safety when the fine timer's world starts crumbling around them. His mannerisms and actions can be interpreted to mean that he is from a working class background in stark contrast to the privileged fine timers. Unlike the other fine timers who bought a pass to this utopia using their parents' money, Ricky September is actually doing something productive and may have earned his way here. So with such a clear divide between Ricky and the racist fine timer group, one could assume he wouldn't share their prejudiced views, right? Well, not so fast. First things first, how you answer this question reflects more on who you are than on who Ricky was, is, or will be. It is a tiny whiny thing. I'm just a YouTuber. I don't know what tense to use here. Let me just get this out of the way. If you are one of those people who did not see the racist undertones placed across the episode until someone pointed them out to you, you are a wonderful person who expects to see the best in humanity represented in futuristic fairy tales, especially in futuristic fairy tales. On the other hand, if you are one of those who got irritated by someone pointing out the racist undertones, you are probably someone who wants to be blind to your own privilege, and good luck to you. Moving on. To explore this further, we need to delve into Ricky's character a little more. While the episode leaves his fate ambiguous, we can infer several things from his actions and the way he's portrayed. Ricky is portrayed as a working class individual. His mannerisms, thoughtful nature, and heroic acts contrast sharply with the privileged fine timers. This portrayal suggests he's from a lower socioeconomic class. But why does this matter? Class differences often play a significant role in shaping people's views and actions. Working class individuals, as portrayed in media, often embody values like compassion, solidarity, and a willingness to help others. Ricky's actions guiding Lindy through the madness to safety align with these values. This suggests he might be more open-minded and less likely to harbor the same prejudices as the fine timers. So does this mean Ricky isn't racist? Not necessarily. It's important to remember that being different from a group doesn't automatically absolve someone of shared prejudices. Racism isn't just about overt actions. It can also be subtle and internalized. Being different from a racist group doesn't automatically make someone free of prejudice themselves. Racism can be deeply ingrained and internalized, sometimes without us even realizing it. Ricky's character is ambiguous in this sense, while his thoughtful nature and kind actions hint that he could reject the fine timer's overt racism. We never get a clear window into his personal beliefs or an explicit statement on the matter. This ambiguity serves an important purpose in storytelling. It reflects the nuances of human prejudices and challenges us as viewers to confront our own assumptions about Ricky based on his portrayal. If you instantly thought, of course he's not racist, he's a good guy. That could say more about your own perspective than Ricky's character. We often want to view people as purely good or bad with no shades of gray. There's some compelling arguments for why Ricky could in fact have harbored some internalized racism, despite seeming likable on the surface. For one, as an outlier in the privileged fine timer society, he may have felt the need to assimilate and prove he fits in including adopting some of their prejudiced mindsets even subconsciously. 
Additionally, his working class roots may have shaped his worldview in complex ways, with economic anxieties and a desire for self-preservation, leading him to look down on or resent other marginalized groups. Ricky's ambiguity makes him a fascinating vehicle for exploring these complex ideas around prejudice. There's an interesting meta layer to Ricky's character too. At times, he almost seems to serve as an avatar or a body double for the doctor herself as she tries to connect with and understand the fine-timer culture. You wonder, is the doctor using Ricky's character as an experiment to see if the doctor can overcome the group's racism from within? Or perhaps more bleakly, does the fact that Lindy so readily sacrifices Ricky at the end suggest that even the doctor's closest allies see him as expendable? So in the end, would Ricky September have been racist? There's no clear answer, and that's precisely the point. His character is a Rorschach test, reflecting back the assumptions we bring to the table about race, class, prejudice, and more. My personal take based on the self-preservation angles and his desire to assimilate. Yes, I do think Ricky likely harbored some internalized racist beliefs, despite his positive attributes. But I'm open to other interpretations. The key takeaway is that prejudices often lurk in insidious, complicated ways, even among those we view as good people. Ricky's character explores that messy internal struggle in a nuanced way. Of course, your take can be different. And that's the beauty of storytelling. It invites us to explore, question, and reflect. As always, by grappling with ambiguous, flawed characters, we're prompted to turn that critical lens inward and examine our own biases. And that's what truly great storytelling should aspire to do, challenge us to constantly reevaluate our assumptions about the world. So what did you think? Was Ricky racist or not? I'm really curious to hear your perspective. As always, thanks for watching. And remember, if you ever find yourself questioning the morality of a character or even your own assumptions, you're already on the right path to understanding the complexities of the human experience. Stay curious.